Thanks for staying with us. It has come to the point where people should start taking responsibilities for their actions on social media. Popular comedian um, Ayo Makum, known as AY, has petitioned the Delta State Police Command over criminal defamation and cyber stalking by one Facebook user identified as Agozi Samuel. Um, Agozi claimed that AY is having an affair with the actor Yu Edoche's estranged wife, May. Uh, he, the, the man, Samuel, has since sent, uh, recorded a video of apology, apologizing to AY um, after <coughs> AY had planned to institute some kind of a, a suit against him. Now, what are your thoughts on this? Because we've discussed social media actions, cyberbullying, defamation, libel, all sorts of um, 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 attacks people have on regular citizens. What are your thoughts on this? Because this, this, in this situation, this man is pleading for forgiveness. Some comments on social media have asked AY to forgive him. Others are saying, no, he needs to be taught a lesson. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? You can call us on 080-2410-16-440-081-076-416-798. You can also tweet to us at TVC Entertainment. Please hashtag YourBeautyVC so we can reach your tweets. Hmm. Who wants to go first? <laughs> the matter is people, because... yeah. Go ahead. So, um, for me, I'm all about forgiveness. You know, I truly believe that people can repent and they, are, they get forgiven. But I also believe in the power of consequences. Because if we don't have consequences, negative things will thrive. They will thrive like it is already thriving so far, where somebody can create a story in the comfort of their home for selfish purposes that will enrich them and defame another person, which is what this guy did. He cooked up the entire story to paint AY bad because he knows that if he does that, he will get clicks and the clicks will result in money for him without thinking of the consequences because he felt that in Nigeria, you can beg and get away with it. We will not allow him to. People are already coming on AY's page to say he should forgive. <coughs> um, at least he has apologized. No. The reason why I'm saying no is what he has put out there might never get completely erased might never get completely erased. Someone, someday will Google and they will see it. They might later not see the re, um, retraction, but they will see it and might not know that it's not true. And some people might never get apology. AY is in a position to teach a very, very strong lesson and serve as a deterrent for other people that are always posting whatever they see. Many people will have reshared it. Ah, now so. I thought, I knew said, no, say AY, no clean as CB. So the form say the day only. Whatever it is, this must be, the, the consequences would help us as a country, it would help us as social media people that are in exactly. the limelight, people of anybody that has a similitude of light shining on them in these days can be defamed. Yes, so. And then they'll come and apologize later and yes, think so. apology will get it. No, no, you can. You, there are consequences for wrong action this, you will pay. This man also said that AY's second daughter wasn't his, but yeah, his hi, that's as deep. in, how do you do that? Evil. So, forgive um, and forget. AY. <laughs> He's not Jesus Christ right now. And even if he chooses to forgive, we will not forgive on his behalf because this has got to stop. People need to understand that you cannot do certain things and get away with it. And even back in the day, or even in the scriptures, when you know, forgiveness is being pronounced, it still does not absolve you of the consequences of your action. You can be forgiven and be in jail where you now have an opportunity to give your life to Christ there and, you know, make amends. You can be forgiven and then you, the, the person takes you away from their space. So when we shout forgiveness, forgiveness, we just want people to take rubbish, swallow rubbish and still leave you around them to be messing up. Mm. I can say you did this and this to me. I'm allowing the law. I'm going to push this, allow the law to take its course. But I have, I've, I've let you go in my heart. I'm not holding you in my heart. It's not personal. But the things that you have done, the damages that you have gone, done, you have to pay for it. It doesn't mean that I'm holding you. So is that unforgiveness? Uh, he, who is he to AY that AY will be holding unforgiveness? I'm sure AY has forgiven him. But for this action, no, you will get to the end. You will come to the we world connect. and explain how you saw me uh, uh, dating another person's ex-wife. Or how you saw me uh, impregnating um, or, or how you saw that that baby was not mine. You come and explain. But I've forgiven you. I've cleared myself. I've made my peace with God. But you must face the consequences. Okay. I would like that we... You know how people do this uh, cancel culture? Mm. 
when you don't like somebody, somebody does something, you cancel. These are the people who are supposed to be canceling. <laughs> These are the people who are supposed to be sending petitions against. Whether he's in Nigeria or not does not stop it. We send petition to Sierra Leone. We, by the time we bombard, and Nigerians have energy, by the time we bombard them with petitions, they will fish him out and they will arrest him. He will pay for the crimes he has committed. This is a crime against humanity. Leave forgiveness, so we are not Jesus right now. <laughs> What are your, what are your initial the, thoughts? The, the serious um, sin in Islam is called the false witness. So mm. somebody who didn't see, didn't uh, hear, didn't in the do, Bible, it wasn't there. Just decides to do a video, and he didn't do a way enough damage as far as I'm concerned. He did the baby, mm. his wife, because I cannot imagine a video that alleges I am adulterous. Mm. As I'm sitting here. Or that I alleges that a child I carried for nine months is a bastard. A miracle I'm just putting it so that people understand the seriousness yeah. of what he did in the video. So he said the child is a bastard. He said he didn't. AY is the least affected with the damage he did, as far as I'm concerned. It then goes to May, who is going through a trying time in her marriage. I don't know the details of it. I'm not. Sent, I'm not choosing a side, but the woman is dealing with all of that. She's lost a son. She's suffering that mm -hmm. and he he went as in he did he worse trained. than the lady that called Eniola Badmos a pimp. He went with a hammer to a paper fight, mm. hit and damaged the reputation of each and everybody. As in he mouth run like gutter, mm. smelly. The mouth he, as in basket mouth talk nonsense and damaged people's lives. And in his apology video, because I saw that video this morning, he was just sorry because he said, nobody told him to do anything. He was just sorry because he now thought of what he had mm. done. And he went in his apology, a very lame one at that. He said, I didn't do it because I wanted to harm you. I just needed. So if I just need it, I'll just look at where I'm just... I need so. money. Yes, so. I'll just need money. I'll just shout. I'll just stop. If I just broke, I don't have money to buy a house. I'll, be, uh, this, I'll just abuse the president. I will just, you know... Because he said things are hard, you know, when I return to Nigeria, I just needed the numbers on my page. So do anything, kill anybody's family, destroy anybody's life, but get your numbers. I said, and the painful part, the consumers of his news. Mm. They might never he get did it. it. <laughs> they rushed the page. His numbers grew. Mm. Why do you so want to I saw that so that's where I'm going to name her, right? because the and I refused to listen to the video yeah. when I saw his apology I listened and went back so people stayed just because he, the way you wrote it yeah. and, so, and that's that where news. I'm going that why do we seem so attracted to this kind of news why do because we, we are the ones fueling it mm -hmm. Nigerians who are Don't listening and consuming there. these kind of messages are the ones fueling this kind of people, this, this desire to just, just, just get the numbers. Mm -hmm. And people call, so the, the, the effort tree to sit down in your house and just cook up a story. Hey, okay, let me just think, or let me just look at talk like this and say, okay, oh, this I heard okay. was from uh, this place, it was from Malawi. When I traveled, she borrowed when this. I traveled, oh, I did not go with my husband, so, it's somebody else. Uh, just, I remember you told me that somebody said they saw me somewhere. Mm. Yeah. They sent to me too. <laughs> somebody <laughs> sent to me, yeah. sent me a message, said he saw some, that he saw Mariah with somebody. And not to be, I said, yeah, but if you saw with somebody, what did you see them doing? It is impossible. <laughs> when I the way I replied, the verse, the verse just shut up. But if, they, they, how many people so would just know you up, enough? So just sit down and say, okay, today I'm, I'm talking about Nima. No, you, you see that one that I said this is jam. Let me be able to say gossip. But you see the one that goes and puts is a criminal crowd with the ring like that. Like that in your last video. I kept saying, Enola, please don't leave this girl. And I saw people in Nigeria saying she had no forgiving heart and dragging yeah. her and politicizing the damage that was done to yes. her person. Yes. Thank you for Somebody that. Somebody put camera it. like this and say, ah, I know for a fact. I've seen, whoa, YK does not do exercise. She's, she, she, did she, was, surgery. she did surgery. She did surgery. She BBL. I was the hospital. The doctor that did it is my father, <laughs> my family. As in, that's how convincing they put the video. Some people, you know, in the past, I have this attitude of don't respond to negative. Mm. What you do is that you, when you don't address those people, you don't criminalize what they've done, you don't lock them and let them face the consequence of it. So people will say, there's an element of truth. Mm. You know they say, out of yes, yes, uh, yes. Uh, there's no yeah. smoke without fire. Yes! yes. <laughs> <laughs> there is something. something. Uh, I wish we there must be something. It's happening. It's happening. Mm. There is smoke without fire. As I said before, is the least affected, but other parties are affected mm. for the purpose mm. 
of okay, this. We have if you are watching this, we have, it yeah. is criminal defamation you because you don't need the penny okay. from these kind of people. Don't so, you don't need the damages that their civil suits would get you. Yes. But if to see them locked up for the kind of heinous crimes mm. they have done for selfish reasons is the reward that mm. you need. So, so you, that people will see their story as precedent and know yes, better. Yeah. You know, there's one popular man. He's from my state that got popular like this. He would just put video every day. Talking rubbish. Talking, saying he's the fighter for the people. Mm. I didn't consume it. Mm. Why? I could have just consumed it because it's from my state. But just the method and way it was it done. was trending. That's not the way press, and uh, uh, what's, okay. what's our article calling it? In the corner, journalism. Journalism. Um, <laughs> journalism. Just those okay. kind of things. Investigating. Careful what you consume. Journalism. Mm. You know, careful mm. the person's life mm. who is being destroyed so you can get mm. high okay. on somebody. Let me, let me go in a very so, short oh, break. When okay. you come back, we continue this conversation. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Thanks for staying with us. We're still discussing defamation. You're going to talk about... Yes, so yeah. I've realized that naturally human beings don't like each other. Uh, especially if you're still at the base level of consciousness where you're still struggling with uh, shame and guilt and, you know, the lowest vibrations. I don't want to break it down here because there's no time for it. So, and I know that it's the lazy human mind that is usually entertained with mm. bad news. Mm. It, they see it as entertainment. Mm. Anything that it just, you know, that just hurts another person to, to show me that this person is not better than me. Mm. Shebi, they've been making money. Mm. They have been superstars. Mm. They have been blowing. They do anything. God blesses them. They are uh, uh, traveling around the world. Mm. And so you wait and latch on any similitude of bad news mm. because you want to justify why you are where you are. Hey. After all, the rich also cry. Mm. After all, all of us, nobody is perfect. And so we hold on to that. And so these people will continually have a market mm. because unfortunately the majority of human minds are in that lowest mm. level of consciousness, very low. Ah. And the only way we can change it is to help people wake up, mm. to understand that we are in this together. Your win is my win, my oh, win is your win. If you are falling, I should be holding you up in prayer. Unfortunately, every Sunday, the churches are full of these same people that <laughs> in the evenings, they are, they are looking at blogs, waiting for the stories. There's a particular blog that oh. drops story that if you see the crowd, once they block them from Instagram, they will, I'm telling you, they will jump to another page, and before you know it, millions of people are following. Who are those people? Mm. The same church members, <clears throat> the same Muslims, the same traditionalists. We are all in that space where we are waiting. Crab mentality. Let something happen to this person. Mm. She's too happy, safe. Yes. She's too happy, safe. You are not happy that somebody really? else is really? happy. Like ah, that. so mm. it can happen to people like this. Mm. Mm. This life, oh. <laughs> this life, I'm oh. just saying no pure. You know, mm. I don't know. Say no pure. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. Be careful. It's be, be careful what you do with a visiting relative for fear or your child. For fear that, you know, if God blesses you right after, they don't say you have done something. Mm. Mm. So you be careful how you work out. But it's, it's sad, just as BC has said, that we consume and encourage them. We encourage them. Is this social media that we, some people say it is, the, it is the best freedom of speech? platform for freedom of speech that we see the abuses constantly like yeah. this. Mm. And you will see some people say now, do not regulate. Mm. Because if this person beyond this is regulated, for instance, as he was giving those allegations, mm. let's assume there's a regulation, certain unsubstantiated things would block it immediately from going. Government has restricted the use of this to this point. As like this, like this, like this, this. So that such publication, before the damage go wide, is controlled. We we'll say no, they have gaggers. Mm. It's gagging. We don't see the damage of it until it happens. Let me take Joy. Good morning, Joy. Thanks for calling your live. Close. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Um, I don't think they should forgive these guys, to be very honest, because this same guy last year came out to say that he was the father of um, your daughter's son, the one he had with the second wife. He came out making claims that he's the rightful father of the child and all of that, and all in the name of chasing clouds. I don't think this is something that should be taken lightly. I don't think this is something that we should just let go. If they don't use him to set an example, mm. more people like him will keep coming out daily. 
All right, yes, so yes. you're saying he's a repeat offender. This is the same guy. But yes. we'll, we'll see how that happens. Yes, but this is the same yeah. Guy. Thank, thank you very much uh, for, for sharing. Doing this well, the truth is, we'll take a few comments as we wrap up on this, but I think I love the way you, you, you wrapped it up, really, because we, the consumers, have our own faults, and also those who just sit in their houses and mop it up, they know, they know there'll be, there's a market for it, yeah. and that's why they'll continue to whip up all these stories just to get traction. Let's take a few comments and we'll wrap up on this, on this segment. Islam says, lazy, jobless people follow Mumu like that. Mm -hmm. uh, Oladidi says, the heart of man is desperately wicked who can know it. Mr. Peppel says, conspiracy theorists who say AY is behind this to trend because of his movie, oh. Merry Men. Say, please. Olawole says, this guy went too far sincerely. He should be forgiven. But that does not mean he should not face the repercussions. Otumba, but they must say, there's consequence for every action. He should be made to face the consequence of his action. Let me take Rotimi, our last call for this segment. Good morning, Rotimi. Well, I'm so sorry, lost that call. Talk, we have any says, yes, okay. Mina says we must push for social media regulation. This is getting too much. This cyber bullying, cyber stalking is a very serious issue in Nigeria. The federal government actually make attempts to regulate social media. The same mainstream media were the one that they use. Yes, so to calm down, to to calm the government down, and to start to bully them down. Yeah. Government, see. This thing that is happening in Nigeria, the social media space, our social media space is so corrupt. The most corrupt social media space, especially TikTok in Nigeria, TikTok in Nigeria space, is so like you will see different kind of fake news. They will come up that the video was dead. I watched one day say um, a motorist radio was dead. I went to, uh, to, to uh, Google to go and search. One posted that Telegram was dead. This thing is happening in Nigeria on social media space and nobody is doing anything about it. Yeah. I hope, I hope the Nigerian police can use their power to regulate this thing so that this same guy, when I watched that video about the wife being the, 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 the person that destroyed you, the bishop and his wife marriage, I was, I was mad. See, what is happening in Nigeria? Why would all this social bullying, social media bullying stop? For instance, one other thing I want you guys to tell our government that to make sure WhatsApp office come to Nigeria. WhatsApp is abusing us, bullying us, everything. Every Somebody will just report you with a simple mistake. WhatsApp will flash your, 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 your app. And Thank you, they don't have a... Thank you very much, Rotimi. I was talking to somebody over the weekend, and we were, we were, in, we were in a circle, and he was saying that if he was in government, he would just tell government to just legalize guns for every Nigerian. Ah. He, was he was talking about the insecurity. He was frustrated about the insecurity. He said, and in his own mind, there's nothing wrong with you having the gun, me having the gun, and we know I'm able to use it when, when we see I said, because you are in a bubble. Mm. Because you are thinking that I think like you. Mm, so look across the street. That security man, give him a gun. Or look at that or that driver or that or that young boy, that mm. rich man's son who is spoiled silly. Right? Look at him. You give him a gun because he's 18 years old and you think he's been smart and rational enough to make the right decisions. He mm, wouldn't. That's all. So it goes back to the response, the self-regulation that we lack. Reasoning. So you're giving us this tool. Now, I'll you think, you compare us. You tell me, oh, they have legal, they, you know, in California is legalized. You know, and I'm thinking, the citizen there, what they're compared dealing to the with citizen. Now, no, but talk about no, what I'm they're dealing with. I'm just saying, they're but it's even with, different. Yes. You know, the the they're point I'm making more than, is, yes, is that, that the ability the to self-regulate. Yes, the we don't have. Yeah, we don't have that much. No, not all of us. Not all of us. Mm -hmm. There's a good number of millions of Nigerians who are not able to understand the difference. In their own, it's an opportunity. Everybody is doing this thing and they're getting clout. 99%. Let me do put my own story and post it and get my own clout. Another very important not responsible. Um, addition to that point is they have stronger institution their judiciary Check. system works faster than here. Yeah, like, so you will get your justice. It does work. If you go to court, you will get your justice in a shorter time than it will take you to get it here. So because they are strengthening, they are every, everybody knows. You are watching TV in America. A lawyer is, their lawyer, legal adverts are there per second telling you, have you been, um, uh, you have accidents? Defamed? Have you been defamed? Is there. So you know the number to call. And yeah. they, would, they, will not even, they will not even ask you for anything. They will do the case for free and collect the damages. That's where they will lawyers. get their own money. So, how many lawyers do we have here that will do cases for you? Market, you can get. You can sue, sue for falling so, down. So that system is different from the system here. Yeah. Where if I want to take a case, you defame me. I will still spend millions of naira to get justice for myself. So imagine if I was a lawyer like you and I can put an advert on TV and say, "Have you been defamed? Please call my number." Kia, kia, everybody, their brain, their brain will be set. 
Mm. Yeah, they will call me now <laughs> because now there's a, they, they have, they, that, that the system is different. Yes. That is constantly being checked. So it's not as if they, somebody is smarter or they're better. It's because they have a system that is checking we have back to system. back. That's why I say... And our ethics do not allow adverts. I know. Mm. I know. But we do. All these things that you talk about. But, and I can guarantee you in the world, there's no perfect judicial system. Oh, yeah, we know All that. of them have their clogs and whatever. So that comparison, I just don't want to sit here. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know you know what you're saying. Everything or you reality you can do. choose to... is not for us to do. We need to ripen into Our something. Own, yes. We need to create countries that I know that their social media space is so regulated. Things that the children cannot see. They are, you progressing. See are they not progressing? They're progressing. That's what I'm saying. So we I cannot say we're not system. Americans. We cannot say uh, because um, the Americans are free to do whatever they want to do. So Nigerians like should be free. Do we? Are we free in our minds? We're not free in our minds. So you can't give somebody who does not even understand what freedom means. That's freedom, and that's why we we mess it up. We make a mess of the whole system. So. We can now say it has not worked for us, this freedom, level of freedom that we mm -hmm. have. We will put in some regulations mm. so that we begin we gradually to build the system. Free, As so we get more civilized, we can open up. We can be, you don't give, you don't give your child a, a car because you love the, because you love the you child. You don't give your child blade because he can sharpen mm. pencil. Mm. You know it's dangerous. Mm. I want to say that the countries where these uh, social media companies are domiciled, mm. the America of America, yes, they have regulated a sitting president. When in the wrong got him out, they, the they, block him. they blocked him oh. to protect their country. Before. But we that we are users, we can't have the power. if somebody were to block a, an influencer who runs got him out, we will say, ah, they have gagged him. Mm. He did gag Trump mm. when he tried that nonsense that he did then, as, that went to the integrity and the sovereignty of their country. We're not free now. They did here. the right thing. They blocked him. They recently allowed, even, they allowed, they blocked him so that he couldn't even open any other kind of page, and the country, the, the, the whatever was domiciled in this country of birth. Exactly. That's With that, we are users. We will have a problem if an influencer, not the evil president, <laughs> is, is, you know, blocked for using something that goes to the core of our nation. As and if people. we try to do what the Asian countries did of creating our own, Nigerians would not support it. They would not support it. We have a mentality, yes. which means that we are not free in our minds. Our colonialists so are better than ours. When our government comes together, okay, this is our own it's WhatsApp. Our WhatsApp. We will not our, use it. We will not use it. It has to come from America for it to be quality. It's substandard. It has to come from America for it to be quality. I was going to respond to sorry. Wait now, wait. Let me hit up with that. Let me break it. I think that is extremely important that. Well, uh, when we have this conversation, we also educate the audience to know that it's not everything you see that mm. you will believe. Because you will see a lot of things. Even going to Google to go and check, say, you are not getting facts from Google anymore. Mm. What we have heard now is Google gives you the information they think you want to hear. And that is part of the problem. So we must learn to decipher the truth by ourselves and not just say, oh, I, I believe in this blog. Anything this blog carries. There's a particular blog that ah. has been very demonized. And people that follow that blog... They will say that anything, or but if he has said it, if this People person has said it, in that blog more than they believe in Jesus Christ. They believe in the blog. That's if the blog said it, it is verified. Ah, you blog. know they lie. Mm. And I'm looking at the person. I'm wondering, Jesus. And you went to school, though. As in, like you, you have brain, so. <laughs> and somebody that you don't know, mm. a, a, that you can't, a, see. That you can't you, you've never met before, has created and locked you up yes, so. into this place. Your whole trust and you hope. See Let me take this call. That from. you should believe. Mm. Question the th even the Bible says we should question. So if the religion is question it, so call me from a question social media. Good morning, so call me. You're live. Yeah, it's good. Where are you? You have um, actually given uh, Madam Nima in Africa. Sorry? So to really open up or like this, and his definition and stuff like this. You would probably will start from there. You really have given her a uh, talk. Um, uh, my contribution is uh, more than because um, of one person he gets. And I think this thing is, uh, I would say, is, uh, is even getting... Well, the point you made, I wanted to say something on that. The last point you were talking about. Um, we have a brain, we don't remember, th we, we don't question things, and somebody we don't know can no, ask us, no. yes, questions. I feel like you should learn to question everything you see, even if you see it. Now, the past... What, what... Even if you see that thing, and that looks true. And you think maybe it's true. There, it's there's there's got to be something in your mind that says it may not be. Exactly. Give this a 0.0% chance that, okay, there's something that, this has been probably embellished. 
mm. has been done to, 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 to get my attention. So doubt it or uh, critique it or be, or be skeptical. Or be silent. Or be silent In about Islam. it. Until so we have enough information before, to know. Um, you know, uh, um, evidences that you must put down for, for adultery. Because it's a life consequence. It's yeah. a death penalty. And in a grievous way, is to be sure yeah. she saw the act. So remember when we were taking the class and the professor there was teaching us, I was like, ah, you need, he said, no. Did you see the entry and exit? I was like, ah. <laughs> At the end, I said, the four parties who must allege, as in the husband comes in and meets his wife with somebody having sex, then he goes out. He will find four witnesses who will come in yes. and see the act. Yes, yeah, so. Know that when I came, the three of them have saw it, seen it, they now told me mm -mm. that evidence, that prosecution will fail mm -hmm. in Islamic wow. evidence. If two of them, it's my mother that, so my mother can never lie, fail. All four parties will we'll see. see. After they see, they would give that witness. And even after they've given that witness, the victim can say, they have lied, and I swear to God it didn't happen. And evidence will still fail. Hmm. Because that person has said, I don't fear God, I say it didn't happen. And you will still see that somewhere in the north, they will still say they're successfully prosecuted. You can't find the president anywhere in the world. Mm. It's life taking. It's something that you must. I, that, you, I'm saying that you see. Even when you see, you can walk away. Thou shalt not you, bear false witness. witness. It's one of the commandments. You know, we like to choose the one we want to obey mm. and the one that we ignore because it's, it's touching some senses mm. that is giving you some form of fulfillment mm. that you cannot get from your work. There are people I know that do not go to all those blogs and all those pages looking for gossip. They are too busy. And if they see anything that they don't understand or they don't like, they just walk on by. But we have a crop of individuals who all their work is waking up in the Lazy morning up here. to go and look for stories that would excite some of the things that they are missing. They have a problem and they need healing for they that problem. They also have a goal. Did you watch uh, Fuke Akidele's She? The uh, person who sat behind four phones. The person had a goal. Yeah, the true. goal is to destroy, tear apart somebody else. Mm -hmm. mm. While, sense. you know, and creating the class. So you're aiding a person to, to get, take advantage of damages, of destruction that the person is doing by consuming, by enjoying it, by giving the reads and numbers and all of that to that page, mm. only to find out at the end of the movie. Very, very um, sensible work. <laughs> Let me just read a few comments and we wrap up. Um, yeah. uh, Tumba Karim says, this word called apology and the Yoruba version of it, Ejo, Mabino, can sometimes be mm. nauseating and annoying. Very. Until when penalties are paid either by jail term or monetary value, it may persist. Cyberbullying and stalking are criminal offenses that, um, and the deterrent is urgently needed to sanitize the space in Nigeria. Mm. I think we can wrap up with that. Um, so in a nutshell, um, defamation obviously is a crime and cyberbullying obviously is a crime. And when things like this happen, happen, we need to make sure the law takes its full course so that it can serve as a deterrent onto others. Let's go on a short break. When we come back from our next segment, stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. 